Good morning, you're very welcome. So today is the last day of January 2024 and amongst other floral commissions which I'm producing today, I'm making flowers for a funeral. And I thought you might like to come along with me and see, um, I have a new way of making, a, you know, a new kind of floral tribute for a funeral. Um, there are lots and lots of eco ways to make flowers for funerals. Uh, sometimes you can make a big sheaf, you could have a cushion of flowers in moss that go on the, on the coffin. Um, but today's project, it's, I, it's, I'm, it's such a compliment to be invited to create flowers for a funeral, always. It is, it's the biggest compliment one can be given as a florist. Um, but I and there are always things which can be taken from the story of the person whose life is being celebrated that inspire what we're doing. So today's mix is going to be a box with lots of small posies which will go on the coffin, and then afterwards, this lady was a great cricketer and a pioneer of women's cricket in the in the UK. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, she had a strong connection with Cornwall. And so after the funeral, there's going to be a cricket tea. Isn't that lovely? I love that. A cricket tea, but also because she had a very strong connection with Cornwall, we are using, luckily, some lovely Cornish flowers in the mix. So we're going to have willow, because cricket bats are often made from willow. <laughs> and Cornish flowers and a cricket tea feel. But we're also, at the same time, making flowers which are going to go on the coffin. So enormous compliment to be asked to do the work, always. Uh, but I thought you might enjoy the process and it might inspire you if, if you're ever engaged in the process of making funeral flowers or considering the flowers that might be part of a celebration of somebody's life, then this might be something that inspires you along the way. It's something a little different. Anyway, come along. And if you're new to the channel, you're very welcome. Please do subscribe, press the bell icon, and we'll tell you when we've got more clips coming up. And if any of the tips and tricks we give you along the way are useful, you can always buy me a coffee, or better still, join my club, where 365 other people are also having a lovely time. Uh, it's a great community, and we're really... We're doing great things, aren't we, clubbers? Anyway, on we go. So this slightly gainsays anybody who says that there are no flowers in the UK in January. This is just a tiny selection of what's on offer from my Cornish wholesalers, BJ Richards and Flowers by Clowance. The very first ranunculus of this year. Hurrah, how beautiful. Um, these are early cheer, these fluffy frothy narcissi um probably not for the funeral but for other things i've got the first of the hyacinths lovely tulips from smith and munson and i love this cornish heather really fantastic and a sign of how lazy i am cornish snowdrops i could have cut my own but it's fiddly and time consuming. And so I let the Cornish take the strain. Thank you very much, Paul and the gang. So I've got all those lovely flowers, but I need some foliage. So I'm up here in the field to see what I can find. I'm particularly looking for bushy foliage so that the fat posies fill the space on the coffin, as well as being pretty for the party afterwards for the cricket tea. It's good. So not long slim, short and fat like me variegated euonymus and look it's got pink edges very nice with those with those ranunculus this grisolinia is evergreen but lovely color at this time of year it's lovely fresh green for january you see what i mean about bushy this is 20 stems of grisolinia bushy the winter flowering viburnums very useful, bushy, lovely colour. Excuse the angle, this is carrying and walking and filming all at the same time in a bit of a hurry. This is the famous willow for 
pussy willow mount asso just coming into flower we have some of this so in the end i've got three kinds of willow the dark stemmed i love i don't know what variety it is it was here when we came here there's the mount asso the pinker one and then contorted because it's interesting in posies and uh the other thing i've got is some um, brachyglottis lovely silvery but of course funeral flowers must have rosemary because rosemary is for remembrance and it's very good for funeral look this could do with a feed a bit yellow do you know what i reckon it's yellow it's it's had a really wet winter we've had unbelievable amounts of rain and i expect that's what's happened it's been a bit rained on it needs something to give it a bit of magnesium and look when you're cutting outside at this time of year, can you see the ladybird in there? Oh, tea cake. And then I keep all sorts of quite protected detail in my yard. For exa example, look, the bay here is looking very fresh and nice. So some of that will be good. And this variegated ivy is very dinky for a posy and will hang out of the posies looking really pretty. So those who uh, follow me, regularly know that where before I do anything I always lay out the vases so that I know that I've filled them up properly and so I know I haven't forgotten anything <laughs> it's very easy to do so here is the box that's going to go on the coffin it's a very very simple box I use it for all sorts of things it makes meadow boxes it makes it makes uh you know you could have a smaller one to go on stairs you can make all kinds of things but this is perfect also for the top of a coffin um and and my posies are going in the ordinary jars that I use all the time. And there are going to be five of them. So I will, you can't have them too close together or they don't fit. <laughs> so five posies is plenty. Five poses is plenty, and I'm going to um, just put a bit of little bit of paper between each of the jars, so they don't rattle around. That's annoying, um, right? Normally, I make my commissions in order, starting with the biggest arrangements, and then working down to the small ones. But today, because funerals are so important. I'm going to do the funeral first and it's not that my other clients are going to get less good it's just that I want the funeral to have the pick of what we've got to make the make the the piece I'm making for them the number one thing um and so I'm gonna do the funeral first and then I'm going to do then I'll do the other work uh so I'll make one of the posies on the speedy uppy thing for you to watch um or maybe i'll make one of the posies not speeded up just so you can see me do it i do have hand tie workshops and demos do look at my website because i do a lot of floristry demonstrations through the year um i don't give you step by step here there isn't time uh, but also i need to make a living so uh if you want really step by step floristry then do book a place on one of my workshops i've got them coming up all through the summer there we always have lots of fun things and we try to make them not too expensive and this year we've bundled some of them so you could book two or three of them together and it, you get a, a good discount but equally obviously club members you get your 10 percent across the board don't you anyway enough of that um let's get on right i'll just get my bits together and then i'll show you what i do so I've got all of my material laid out quite easily to easily available to me. I've got my compost bucket. And I'm just going to make my first posy and I'll show it to you as I go. I'm sorry if I put my back to you.
You see, fat foliage, bunchy foliage makes a nice bunchy mix to put things, to snuggle the flowers in. Now the tulips are going to grow. So I'm going to put them deep inside the posies. So um, you won't be able to see them very much now, but by the time the funeral is actually, uh, for lots of reasons, I'm doing the flowers today and the funeral is day after tomorrow. So if I tuck the, the tulips right in, they'll grow out, by, have grown taller by the time it's the funeral. So I'm really tucking them in, in deep in there. I love this. This is Cornish heather. And I think for a for the funeral of a person who um, has a strong connection with Cornwall, how lovely. I think that's just gorgeous. Um, now, waste not, what not. There are really nice buds on the ranunculus. They won't come out in time, but they make it look, they're very full of future. So I will use them. Coming along.
Right, so there's one lovely fat posy. And you can imagine how when I've made five of them and they'll really fill that space. So I'm gonna get on and make the five and um, I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. Wait a minute, classic situation. I turn around and realize I've used none of the snowdrops. And um, of course, if somebody dies in January and their funeral's at the end of January, beginning of February, the flower in flower is the, where we are is the snowdrop. And when the funeral is a celebration of, an, of a good life well lived, actually going forward, seeing that snowdrop will bring happy memories. And yes, you're sad and you're, ha you know, you remember happy, happy days. So it's really, really worth having the snowdrops in the mix. Um, so I must add some <laughs> snowdrops. Snowdrops, I love the way, look how they're sent. They're sent up, wrapped in a little band, framed by an ivy leaf. Isn't that pretty? Um, snowdrops in the warm, when they're brought inside, have a really lovely scent. Uh, it's worth, worth bringing a few in. Just put them in an egg cup. I've made a reel, actually, I'll put it on a short. Um, of a tiny arrangement. Um, somebody else died uh, this week, and so I made a tiny, tiny arrangement um, for somebody who was very, very sad about it. We, and I will share that later. Anyway, look, if you've got something really tiny, don't put it in one at a time, put it in in a handful, and then you can see it. And if you think about the way that these are grow outside they kind of come up in little bunches so it looks like a little bunch and you'll be able to see it underneath the rest of the floristry i promise you <laughs> some of this ivy is rooted i bet they plant it coming along and i love the fact that the flowers arrived wrapped in paper newspaper western morning news or something western morning news from cornwall and so it's already recycled, come here, and I'm now recycling it <laughs> again by screwing it up and putting it between the jars so that they don't rattle. See, keep using stuff, you can. So there it is, more or less finished, but um, I'm going to pudge it <laughs> by tucking extra bits of foliage so that you can't see this bit. So I've got room at the top of my jars and you see these lovely long trails of ivy. They tuck, you see? And then you can have, you can have long trails, but you can have tucked trails and that covers up your workings. So it's very, uh, you know, complete. It's just glass, water, beautiful flowers, no floral foam, no wire. Everything's reusable or compostable. And so I'm just gonna cover up my workings a little bit. So there it is finished. And the ivy is just kind of tucked in. There are at the end, you know, each end of the ivy where it was cut is in water. But the lovely trails are really pretty. And then there are the five posies to go and be part of the, of the cricket tea afterwards. I'm going to leave it for, I'm going to go and have lunch actually. <laughs> I'm going to go and leave it and then come back. And if it needs any more pudging, I'll do it. But I'm, I'm pretty much, pretty much there, I think. Weirdly, you can see it better from this side. I'm sorry about my untidy studio. <laughs> uh, but you can see how the long trails here go down towards the foot of the coffin and then it gets slightly bigger towards the other end which works well on a coffin, but then when it comes apart, it will become posy. So it's doing two jobs quite effectively. Right, back from lunch, and I've just tucked in a little bit more of the Viburnum Eve Price. And I think I'm done. I'm gonna go and deliver it right across the road. I wouldn't mind keeping it here.
there you have British flowers, end of January, entirely 100% recyclable or compostable, floral tribute, no wire, no foam, and a lovely, though I sent myself, coffin top. <laughs>